A violent streak in Portland left at least 11 people injured in nearly a dozen separate shootings, and officers are really busy tonight investigating all this. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 10 o'clock on Portland CW. I'm Wayne Haverly. Our Jamie Seymour, she is live right now with the very latest on what has been an extremely busy 24 hours. Wayne, busy and scary for many neighborhoods. Police even say that some of those shootings hit random people that weren't even intended targets. One of those happened just after midnight in a Northeast Portland neighborhood. A Northeast Portland neighborhood woken up to bullets flying just after midnight. One woman in her 60s was shot in the arm while sleeping when one of the stray bullets went through her bedroom window near Northeast 11th and Buffalo. Just feet on school, a number of cars were also hit as police investigate multiple calibers of shell casings along the street. Off camera, neighbors told us it was unnerving to have this come so close to home, but not entirely surprising. It came hours after a man was shot to death in a home in North Portland's St. John's neighborhood. Neighbors there were also alarmed. I didn't get up and walk out. I just heard that bang, bang. I was just staying down in the dark so I could see if somebody was walking around. I looked around. I didn't see any silhouettes. Southeast Portland also kept officers busy. Two people were shot overnight near Southeast Hawthorne and 48th Avenue in a parking lot near the Space Room Lounge. One critically injured. Police say multiple homes nearby were also hit by bullets. And Saturday afternoon near Schiller and 52nd, a man was shot in an apartment and taken to the hospital by private car. He's expected to be okay. Now, police say this is also a reminder that when they have a high volume of calls like we've seen in the past day and a half, they might not be able to get to some of those lower priority calls and that they'll get to them as soon as they can. They ask everyone to please be patient. Now, a lot of these shootings in the last day and a half did not also have any suspect information or any arrests made. So they're asking anyone with information to please contact crime tips at portlandoregon.gov or or reach out to Crime Stoppers. Reporting in Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News.